Engineering art showed how ultra-realistic Mesmer robots are created. The widespread introduction of humanoid robots in Japanese stores as new employees could create a shortage of jobs for humans. A robot excavator using neural networks autonomously designed and built a wall using readily available materials. The world's first humanoid robot diver set a new record by descending to a depth of over 1,000 meters. These and other robotics news are covered in one video. Engineering Arts has unveiled the Mesmer system for creating realistic humanoid robots. The system includes hardware such as motors, electronics, and connectors. Sensors, which include cameras, depth sensors, LiDARs, and microphones, are also part of the system, along with software for controlling animation, interaction, sound, and lighting. The key advantage of Engineering Arts Entertainment Robots lies in their intuitive control. An accurate 3D model in the browser simulates the capabilities of a real robot, and user-friendly animation tools allow for achieving the desired effects quickly without programming skills. The company Melton is engaged in the development of technologies that will help create cyborgs in the future. This involves processing biosignals running through nerves in a human body and the development of robotic products that mimic human anatomy. Currently, the company has two avatar robots capable of accurately replicating human movements. One of them is Melton Alpha, whose hands precisely replicate the structure of the human hand, taking into account the placement of muscles and tendons leading to individual fingers. Polymer elastic wires are used as actuators. Pressure sensors are also installed in the robot's fingers and a feedback system provides optical feedback. The robot is very precise and strong, capable of holding a two-liter water canister with just two fingers. The signal transmission from the operator to the robot with a delay of only 0.2 seconds, can be achieved even from a distance of 19,000 kilometers. The Melton Beta is designed for interested customers for hazardous work in environments with high or low temperatures, chemical, biological, or radioactive contamination, and possibly even in space. The robot can still provide the operator with information not only about the gripping force, but also about the texture of the object. This robotic arm is capable of transmitting tactile feedback over thousands of kilometers. In remote control of the robotic arm, this task can be significantly simplified if the operator can feel the objects touched by this arm. Such a system was shown at a recent exhibition by Amazon. At the core of the system are two dexterous hands, robotic arms developed by the British company Shadow Robot. Each arm has 24 degrees of freedom and is equipped with 129 sensors that monitor parameters such as position, force, and applied pressure. Each arm can handle objects weighing up to 5 kilograms. For demonstration purposes, each arm was also equipped with additional biotech tactile sensors developed by experts from the University of Southern California. Each sensor consists of a soft, flexible skin imitator with the texture of fingerprints and filled with liquid. Robotic arms equipped with these sensors are remotely controlled by the operator. The Japanese Family Mart store has introduced the Wheeled Robots Model T by Telexistence, capable of gripping, moving, picking up, and placing bottles, cans, and other solid goods on shelves. The 2-meter system is equipped with cameras, a microphone, sensors, and a three-fingered gripper. Family Mart plans to deploy three robots in stores initially, with future plans to introduce dozens of such devices in 20 company stores. Developers aim to make the Model T fully autonomous in the future. Currently, the robots are operated by a human using a VR complex. The robot operates more slowly, taking an average of 8 seconds for one item compared to the 5 seconds required by a human. On the other hand, one person can control several robots sequentially in different stores. Interestingly, Telexistence does not plan to sell its robots. Instead, they will be provided to businesses for lease. The excavator robot autonomously designed and constructed a wall using readily available stones. A team from the ETH Zurich Research Institute introduced a construction robot named HEAP. The machine is equipped with a satellite navigation system, an inertial measurement unit, a control module, and LiDAR sensors on the cabin and excavator arm. HEAP built a 6-meter high wall of boulders using the dry masonry method without human intervention. The robot first scanned the construction site, created a 3D map, and then recorded the location of the stones, each weighing several tons. The robot then lifted each stone from the ground, used computer vision technology to estimate its weight and center of gravity, and captured its three-dimensional shape. The automatic 
algorithm on the heap control module, calculated the optimal placement for each stone to construct a sturdy wall, 6 meters high and 65 meters long. Construction was carried out using dry stone walling, where stones are simply stacked on top of each other without mortar. Heap placed 20 to 30 stones in a single construction session. The main advantage of this project is the ability to use only stones located nearby, without the need to transport building materials. This approach helps save on freight transportation costs and reduces carbon emissions. An interesting development from the Robotics and Mechanisms Laboratory at the University of California, Los Angeles, is the four-legged robot Alfred. The robot not only has the ability to move in various ways, but can also use its two limbs for tasks unrelated to mobility. Alfred is designed with symmetry in mind, allowing any limb to be used for any given task. Additionally, the robot structure remains relatively simple. Researchers from Stanford University have unveiled a new version of the underwater avatar-controlled robot diver named Ocean 1K. The robot is designed in a non-typical humanoid form factor. The key feature of this innovation is its high maneuverability, the ability to operate at depths of about one kilometer, the presence of a tactile feedback system, and stereoscopic vision. During tests, researchers explored the sunken Spanish steamship La Francesco Crispi at a depth of 500 meters. The previous version of the Ocean 1 robot could dive to a maximum depth of about 200 meters. Since then, developers have equipped it with a foam system made of glass microspheres, filled its manipulators with oil, and added mechanisms to balance external pressure. Most likely, the Ocean 1 systems could be used for inspecting and repairing underwater structures, examining ships, and various infrastructure tasks. Apparently, these robots will also play a role in underwater archaeology and the inspection of sunken ships. The Armor 6 robot by Second Hands Robotics, unlike some humanoid robots, is designed to assist humans. The robot should understand natural language commands, be able to recognize what a person is trying to do, and anticipate when assistance will be needed. Additionally, the robot will be capable of performing tasks that require a level of precision or physical strength beyond human capability. Of course, it should do all this autonomously and safely, surrounded by people in an active warehouse. The project is in development, and in 2020, Armor 6 underwent testing at the warehouse of Okado Technology Company. In Japan, there's also the Model H, a robot avatar for shopping and remote travel by the company Telexistence. The robot is operated using an HTC Vive virtual reality headset and a pair of controllers. The robot itself is mounted on an autonomous wheeled platform, equipped with a pair of arms and a rotating head containing two cameras for stereo vision. With the help of the robot, the owner can transport themselves to a chosen environment and interact remotely with people and objects. Write in the comments which of the robots shown in today's video impressed you the most. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the Kara Show channel. Also, check out our previous videos. See you next time.